The FIA ETRC arrives in Most in the Czech Republic. The 12th century Hennevin Castle towers over this North Bohemian city and its 67,000 inhabitants, the majority of whom are true motorsport enthusiasts. This is the sixth race weekend of the season for the best truck drivers in Europe, and there was no shortage of surprises. There were four different winners in three days of pure truck racing action, with two races each on Saturday and Sunday, and one man at the centre of it all. That man was Adam Lachko. The overall front runner in the championship has only one goal, increase his lead by winning one or more races here in Mosh in front of his home fans. There is most definitely a small amount of pressure. It's the uh, only pressure is here at home and at most because it's a lot of sponsors, a lot of uh, friends, fans come to uh, watch us with me and David. And we would like make the best what we know and we would like stay on, uh, on the podium. And when we do this, I think we are very happy. However, these three drivers happen to disagree. Norbert Kish was very unlucky during the reverse grid race in Hungary when he was struck by two technical defects. Jochen Hahn always has a good chance of winning in Bosch. The reigning European champion is level pegging with Norbert Kish in third place in the championship table. And Steffi Halm, who is only two points behind after topping the podium twice before. First, he is extremely strong, but second, he has a lot of pressure. And it's the first time he is before the, the title. So from this side, I know the feeling, the first title, when it's coming nearly, oh, the, you know, it's like, oh, oh, oh. So from this side, now we keep cool. Um, I think all it's possible. Johan and Steffi, uh, who's, uh, who's are very close uh, in the championship uh, with me. So, yeah, we have to watch for them and try to beat them, try to be in front of them. and. Uh, if we succeed with that, then that should be very good. We are all very close together, always also in the in the races, in the qualifying. So we will see who have uh, most of the luck and uh, the constant speed uh, during all of the races. Looking at the overall standings, it's clear that the closest battle at the moment is the one for second place. Mosh was first rocked by the sound of roaring engines late on Friday afternoon. The parade through the town centre serves as a loud wake-up call. As everybody now knows, this weekend, the Truck Prix will take place on the 4.2-kilometre racetrack, which opened in 1983 and has hosted truck racing since 1992. Even before the first race has begun, the first title has been awarded. The jinx of the weekend goes to Andre Kurzim. The young German driver who leads on points in the Promoters Cup has to abandon his truck at the start line during the Super Pole at midday on Saturday. Engine failure. We've had engine trouble, relatively serious engine trouble, which will be difficult to repair. We're trying to fix it, but we've still got the remaining engine parts from Norbert from last week, and we'll have to see whether we manage to make it to the grid tomorrow. Auf die Reihe kriegen. This means that Jose Rodriguez, Kurzim's most formidable opponent, has a good chance of taking the lead in the Promoters' Cup table. He's 16 points behind. <laughs> the reigning champion, Jochen Hahn, will start the opening race of the weekend from pole position. Pole positions we have a lot in this season. We, we work hard in the summer break for the starts and I'm very optimistic to, to hold to hold the position before the first chicane and then we will see the race. We, so we don't know from yesterday it's wet condition, we don't know how stable is the, it's the setup in the race so it's a little bit of lottery but I think we are, we are in a good way. Right behind Jochen Hahn is Adam Lachko, the Czech local hero and championship front runner. But Lachko was not at all satisfied with third place on the grid as he was 4.1 seconds behind Hahn. Alongside Lachko, fourth is the Spaniard Antonio Albafetti, who is pleased with his good performance in qualifying. Steffi Halm is feeling optimistic in fifth on the grid. She hopes to move up at least one position over the course of the 11 laps. 
bij in een auto. Against a stunning backdrop, away they go for race one. The first battle of race one is between Jochen Hahn and Norbert Kisch. The four-time European champion from Germany wins out against the Hungarian driver in the Mercedes truck. On their tail, Lachko maintains third position, followed by Albertetti and Halm. The first combination of corners at the Autodome Bost is very spectacular. It's called the eye of the needle. The corners very tight for track racing. The start is very tricky for me. Uh, in the first, from the first braking after the start, my engine is stopped. I don't know why. And after I must again the start through the clutch. And this is the reason I have so much slippery there. Right behind the big three of Hahn, Kish and Lachko, Steffi Halm battles with Antonio Albafetti and finally manages to overtake the Spaniard on the first lap, moving her up to fourth in the blue truck, number 44. After that, the field settles into race order. Jose Rodriguez, the Portuguese driver in the MAN truck, started 10th and is struggling. From guest driver Gregor Ostajewski's cockpit, we can clearly see Rodriguez slipping to 14th. Towards the midpoint of the race, Lachko is hot on Kish's tail, putting him under a lot of pressure before overtaking the Hungarian on the fifth lap. Kish shows good sportsmanship and the manoeuvre is fair. I catch him before the Matador's uh, corners and I go front of him and after I try catching Jochen, but he is fast. Further back in the field, there is a tense battle for eighth position, which corresponds to pole position in the next race due to the reverse grid regulation. English pair Shane Brayton and Ryan Smith overtake German driver Gert Korber with no difficulty as he has turbo lag while upshifting. Ahead of these three drivers, Sasha Lentz in number 30 and David Rosetsky in number 33 are fighting it out for sixth position. Smith attacks Brayton. He accelerates just a tad faster, says a quick hello to his fellow Brit, and he knows what's happening. Lentz takes sixth position, then Rosetsky followed by Smith in eighth, while Brayton lags behind. Start of the last lap, Czech driver Rosetsky, who knows this circuit like the back of his hand, having maintained the lap record at Mosh in 2009, attacks Sasha Lentz. After light contact, Lentz speeds away into sixth position. At the head of the field, Jochen Hahn, followed by Adam Lachko and Norbert Kisch, is on his way to his fourth win of the season. He's been waiting 13 races for this, so he's all the more pleased for it. Congratulations. We work hard in the summer break and pole position today and, and win the first race, I'm really, really happy. You know, it's, it's a good point when you work hard and you win, well, all is fine. The classification from race one. Having finished in eighth place, Ryan Smith will start in pole position in the reverse grid race on Saturday. Adam Lachko, Jochen Hahn and Norbert Kisch take the applause. Another 15 points for Lachko. He's well on his way to what could be his first ETRC title. A mandatory appointment on both days is the autograph signing hour and even the chance for the fans to talk motors with the drivers. Ryan Smith, the charismatic British entertainer, starts on pole position for the second race of the day. The Englishman celebrated his first ETRC victory on this very circuit exactly one year ago. Competition is fierce between him and Sasha Lentz. It depends what happens. You, you know, pressure, mistakes, starts. You know, last race they held the start so late. Uh, I went directly back to 10th position after, this, after the start, but uh, we will be trying really hard and uh, hopefully, hopefully, I'm not going to even commit to say a, a position, but, you know, hopefully we can uh, have a good run.
Sasha Lentz is focusing all his attention on the chicane at the end of the start finish straight and on checking his mirrors. You look all around you and you just hope that you come out of it well and I'm hoping the same for this race of course. And then at the end of the race we'll see how we've done. David Rovsetsky and Antonio Albafetti share the second row. Steffi Hahn will start in fifth. The Czech fans are crossing their fingers for Lachko, Vrasetsky and Frankie Wojciech, of course. At the start, the wait for the green light is a long one. The trucks are tightly packed together as they make their way towards the Z-Bend. Smith gains the advantage on the run to the first corner. Smith, Lentz and Brasetsky come through cleanly, but Steffi Halm gains third position from Brasetsky and Frankie Wojciech is forced wide into the gravel. Let's see the whole thing again from Lachko's perspective. His teammate also pulls out wide with a light push from Steffi Halm and Kish tangles with Alba Fetti, but fortunately manages to gather it all up. Alba Fetti and Kish are side by side. Kish's truck is pushed from behind, but this comes to nothing, and the Hungarian speeds away in fifth place, managing to maintain his position. Whereas the Spaniard, Alba Fetti, slips down from fourth to seventh following contact with Kish. After the start, you know, I go straight, and then Antonio decides to turn into me. And like, it was crazy again, like usual, you know, like always the second races are crazy, so it was. So I'm crazy this time as well, and uh, yeah, I got a couple of hits here and there. And it was Kiss and David, they make a sandwich, I was in the middle, so I get the stock again, <laughs> and then I lose quite uh, a lot of positions, you oh, know. Fine. Yeah, because I think I couldn't be in the place of Steffi, you know, in third position if I overtake David, but anyway, I, I choose the, the, the wrong line, you know, <laughs> and uh, that's racing. Once the field has sorted itself out, Smith is still leading ahead of Lentz and Halm. The German driver, the only woman in the race, attacks Sasha Lentz at the end of the second lap, overtaking him on the inside. Lentz offers relatively little resistance as both drivers compete for the same team. Ryan Smith is in front, then Halm and Lentz, while Rosetsky in fourth seems to be holding up the quick pursuing pack of Kish, Lachko, Albafetti and Hahn. From Norbert Kish's camera, it's clear that Lachko is planning an attack at the end of the start finish straight. Rosetsky locks up, and Adam Lachko is grateful. Cheered on by his team, Lachko overtakes Norbert Kish, the victim of David Rosetsky's blockade strategy. He can't put up much resistance after the damage he sustained in an early collision with Antonio Albafetti. Even Adam come on the first braking zone and David practically stopped in front of me in the chicane so that Adam can easily overtake me and then after that um, steering problems started to come and, and I had to, had, to, had to go slower and slower. And on lap five, Antonio Albafetti overtakes Norbert Kish. Shortly afterwards, Jochen Hahn also manages to slip past the 2014 and 2015 champion, forcing Kish down to seventh position. Steffi Halm puts Smith under pressure. With his steering getting heavier and heavier, Norbert Kish decides to retire on lap eight. Three laps later, and Ryan Smith is the first to see the checkered flag and will be celebrating his second victory in the ETRC exactly one year after his first, in front of Steffi Halm. Steffi, congratulations. congratulations. You didn't make one mistake, I see you everywhere. You're <laughs> yeah, because we all see you as physical. <laughs> Sasha Lentz just about holds off Adam Lachko before the finishing line, ending up in third place for the second time this season. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That was difficult. Steffi drove really. She, I, I kept looking in the mirror to see if she made a mistake. She didn't make one mistake, but you know what? To be fair, we didn't make a mistake either. And I just kept it consistent. 
braked a couple of meters early just to you know just to bring it home but I, the laps wasn't coming down fast enough but yeah i'm delighted brilliant feeling let's have another look at the result smith halm lentz the top three ahead of lachko brasetsky and albathetti None of the big three made it onto the podium. A fantastic success, though, for Sasha Lentz. I was able to drive my own race. I saw Steffi coming, and I let her pass me. We're driving together in the team classification, so we have to stick together. Then I saw that Adam was getting closer and closer right up until the last two or three laps. From then on, the gap remained consistent, and that was when I knew I could do this, and I made no mistakes, so I'm really pleased. Day one comes to an end without the victory from Adam Latchko everyone had expected. For the crowds, a total of over 95,000 over the weekend. Sunday begins with the hope that today, Adam Latchko will win. Conditions are more favorable than the day before and the driver in the number 55 Freightliner posts the fastest qualifying time. So he'll start on pole position. Sharing the front row with him is Jochen Hahn. The Czech pole sitter is optimistic. The start, it's every every time it's very hard, and we will see how how I have started and Jochen and also Antonio, Steffi, Steffi. It's a really good start every time, and we will see after the first chicane. An explosive battle breaks out in row three between Norbert Kish and Ryan Smith, the two brawlers who clashed just a week ago in Budapest. Kish starts fifth, Smith sixth. Lachko in number 55 and Hahn number one are ahead from the start, followed by Albafetti in the red MAN and Hahn in the blue truck. The first four all handle the chicane well, but behind there's a lot more pushing and shoving. Lentz sandwiched between Vrasetsky on his right and Smith on his left. Then in comes Kish from the left and Smith spins. Let's see that one more time from Smith's onboard view. You can hear two loud bangs and then around he goes. I have a really good start. I beat Norby off the start, but I leave him room on the inside. I go round turn one, and then all hell breaks loose. And uh, you know, I'm pushed from rear, from the side. Uh, my door is ripped off. The stewards will not let the Brit continue racing, and so he has to retire. Now we see the collision from second victim get Kurbers on board camera. It's a lot like bumper cars at a fun fair. You can see clearly from Vesetsky's rear camera that Corbo runs into Lentz's rear bumper, damaging his own radiator in the process. Corbo has to park up his Iveco as a direct result of the collision. Ryan Smith. Uh, hat sich gedreht und jeder musste abbremsen. Nur Ryan Smith spun and everyone had to brake hard. But you don't see that when everyone's tightly packed and you're tight on your opponent's bumper. So that was a totally normal, stupid racing accident. Midway through the race, Lachko is ahead of Hahn, while behind them are Albafetti in the red truck, then Hahn and Kish, the top five basically on the same pace. Right now, Frankie Wojciech is the sensational driver in sixth position. The 56-year-old Czech national has raced in all 25 truck racing events at Most and is now racing in the white number 91 rig. Fellow Czech Brasetsky is chasing down both Wojciech and the Portuguese driver Jose Rodriguez. But he was a little too optimistic and he's overtaken by Sasha Lentz. Adam Lachko crosses the line first, finally winning his first race in Most. Jochen Hahn claims second place, followed by Antonio Albafetti in third. Well on his way towards winning the 2017 title. It's not just Adam Latchko that is happy, but lots of Czech fans. After the start, when I pass the first chicane, it's more easy because it's Jochen behind me. I do a little small gap and I concentrate for the driving, for don't make mistake. And I try to make bigger and bigger gap. And when I see it's safe and I drive it, driving constantly and safe and I try finish to the first position at home for our fans, for our sponsors and 
is done. A heavy burden is lifted from the Czech driver's shoulders, and he even wants to be the fastest at opening the champagne. Lower down on the table, Steffi Halm and Norbert Kish are diligently accumulating points. Sasha Lentz finishes sixth, followed by Vrasetsky. Frankie Wojciech is given a 10-second penalty for overspeeding and drops to 10th. Just like the day before, the final race in Mosh, another reverse grid race, sees a Brit on pole. It's Shane Brayton in number 17. The former national hot rod racer and pickup star will start at the front. It's uh, a lot of pressure. Um, if we can get a good start and maybe hold David back, um, David and Sasha take some keeping behind me, but I'm going to give it a good go. Britain is joined by the Czech, David Rosetsky, who is probably hoping for victory today. <laughs> Sasha Lentz, who is still waiting for a victory in ETRC, will start the race in third position. And thanks to an orange door borrowed from Lentz, Ryan Smith can now compete in the race, starting at the back of the grid. The start, Shane Brereton wins the first battle against Vrasetsky as they race down to the first corner. Vrasetsky then loses his position in second to Lentz, who accelerates better out of turn two. Let's watch that duel from the best viewpoint. Having seen that Sasha Lentz has just overtaken Vrasetsky, Steffi Halm then sees Vrasetsky regain his position just moments later. The Czech and the German drivers are engaged in a fierce battle. First, Sasha Lentz almost barges Vrasetsky off the track, but one corner later, and the Czech driver in the freight liner retaliates. Since this is only his second full ETRC season, the young German driver lacks experience in this area. I think I locked up slightly and he had the outside line. I gave him some space and we went into the right-hand bend. He didn't give me any room, but instead forced me onto the outside and I ended up on the grass. There, you've got no chance. Then the whole field passed me, which is a bit of a shame, but that's motorsport. We can still be satisfied with the weekend as a whole. One lap later, at the same point on the circuit, Rosetsky in second position, followed by Steffi Harm in third. The Czech old hand versus the attacking German. Rosetsky shuts the door mercilessly, but Steffi Harm almost forces him off. Each driver has their own contrasting interpretation of this situation. I have some action with the Steffi. One time we connect to, together because I, I feel in the mirror it it's, should be okay. It's to, it, there is place for me and was about five centimeters less. <laughs> He just didn't leave me any room. I even drove right up onto the edge of the track. We were both lucky that it didn't end the race for either of us. For me, this isn't what I look to do when I race. Of course, he is slower than me and he defended well, but the manoeuvre just wasn't good at all. Shane Brereton is enjoying a lonely race at the front, extending his lead lap by lap, while Vrasetsky, Halm and Kish battle each other for the two available spots on the podium. The British driver is the first to see the chequered flag, winning an ETRC race for the first time in his career. He is followed closely by David Rosetsky in second, and in a heart-stopping finale, Steffi Halm finishes third, 38 thousandths ahead of Norbert Kish. This victory is the icing on the cake for the modest Brit Brereton, who also won three races this weekend in the Promoters' Cup. The lonely race. I just knew if I bogged the Baguera down on the start, I could get the run on him. Don't break too late into the first, put up with maybe a punch from behind, and I managed to do it. And then I just settled, and I just kept looking in the mirrors, and they were scrapping. Oh, brilliant. Ten drivers are within 12 seconds of each other, with positions 2 to 10 covered by less than 5 seconds. It's no ordinary result in race 4. And the top three are Shane Brereton, David Rosetsky, and Steffi Halm.
In the overall classification, Adam Latchko is first after six out of nine race weekends with a 60-point buffer between him and Jochen Hahn. Steffi Halm is in third, then Norbert Kish fourth. The two British competitors top the second page with Ryan Smith 11th and Shane Britton 12th. The final third of the season starts at Zolder. Round seven of the FIA ETRC takes place at the tradition-rich Belgian circuit between Aachen and Brussels, where once again, vast and excited crowds are expected.